you feel after your first week of camp and more comfortable the second week coming in? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the first few days were kind of a whirlwind, getting everything down, getting timing down. Um, much more comfortable after having the first off day and uh, being able to kind of review the first few installs and, you know, just to, you know, the more bonding and, and the more camp time you have, the better you get to know your teammates. So it's feel a lot better from, from day one, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, hoping to keep striving and making each step each day and then moving forward. Matt said that he reiterated really that he can't be fair with the rest of the week like we talked about last week. Have you felt that that's been the case? Oh, absolutely. I mean, everything's extremely transparent. I mean, they're, they're telling us exactly how they're handling it and it's it's not being said to to one person and then Sam's hearing another thing. It's it's right in front of us and so it's clear and concise. How tough is it to improve the playbook so far? Um, I mean, for me, it's obviously uh, not second nature yet. Um, but, you know, trying to make those steps to where, you know, you learn the reads well enough to where it's just reaction to, to get into the, through your progressions and knowing where to go when it's different coverages. So, um, yeah, last week was definitely a little bit slower than I would like to be, but I think that's to be expected. So looking to make those steps this week when there's some repeated calls and concepts and uh, continue to get better. How is it different on Drew when you're alternating with that many reps back and forth and out and forth and out? How's that different? Um, you know, that's just something that you just have to deal with in camp. You know, it's camp so much different than a game, so it's just normal practice. You, you got to be able to take yourself through every single mental rep, even if you're not in. Take yourself through what you'd be doing. Uh, based on coverage, based on what the defense has given you. So, um, you know, there's can't complain because everybody's having to do that. I mean, you're, nobody's in a rhythm. You're getting pulled one way. And so uh, just take advantage of each moment. Each play is an opportunity. And uh, even if you're not in, you can learn from it. Baker, you find you're still at a point where you're thinking out there more than you will once this is second hand, second nature. Yeah. No, that's definitely, I think, for last week especially, you know, the first few installs are extremely heavy to kind of get this base of the offense down, you know, the foundation. So for me, last week was about uh, more taking care of the ball and uh, getting everything down, you know, communicating correctly, over communicate, over communicating, making sure everybody's on the same page. And, and now it's really time to put it all together and go play. Baker, take us through like a day down here for you, like as you're trying to kind of catch up, I guess, really with the mm -hmm. playbook. I mean, it's it's all ball. That's why I love doing camp offsite. I think, you know, coming down here to Wofford, I think it's a great opportunity for everybody to get to know each other too. But it's it's strictly ball, um, no distractions. You come down here to learn and grow and get to know your teammates. But for me, it's you know study uh, a little extra in the mornings, get up, um, you know, fit my workouts when I can after practice. But uh, when it comes to, you know, when I have downtime, it's it's go time. Looking at plays, uh, making sure that I'm communicating. If I have any questions, and like looking over stuff by myself in the mornings, to where I can go into meetings, and it's not the first time I'm seeing it. You know, so I'm hearing that communication, and if I have questions, I can bounce that off the coaches. And uh, just that that transparency and communication that we're talking about, it's everybody's hearing the same language. Hey, Baker, How was it, Baker, today, Sue Robinson. Hi, how are you? How are you? Um, so today, Sue Robinson announced that uh, her decision is for Deshaun Watson to have a six-game suspension. And under the theory that quarterbacks like to go up against their former team, and presumably if you are the starter for week one, what are your thoughts on that matchup uh, likely now being with Jacoby Brissett manning the offense as opposed to Deshaun? You know, I mean, that honestly is none of my business. Um, I don't play against the other quarterback. I know it's the most cliche thing to say, but that's just the truth. Uh, when it comes down to it, I'm game planning against their defense. Um, and if I'm playing or not, I'm trying to help this team win. And that's my mindset going into it. So I got to keep getting better. But I'm not focused about week one right now. Um, you know, working working on each day, each install, and continuing to get better. Uh, and we'll handle that when it comes. But for now, it's it's about getting the Panthers better and, and our offense continuing to get better as well. How helpful has it been? Due diligence, I, I totally understand. You're not with that team anymore. Just, just to be clear, any specific thoughts on the fact that he was given six games and you were the former starter that time? No, I mean, I'm, I'm paid to play quarterback and lead this team and not to make decisions on anything other than that. Baker, how helpful has it been to have Rashard Higgins here going through Yeah, for me, learning the few the first few installs, especially um, when when guys are kind of on their own schedule, he's he's also trying to continue to learn and and grow in this offense as well. So just you know, if I'm if I have a couple questions here and there, bouncing it off of him, like, hey, is this similar to this concept? But uh, we're also trying to get rid of the old terminology and uh, learn so we're speaking that same language as everybody else, so there's no confusion at all. Um, but yeah, he's been extremely helpful, and obviously, uh, we've been friends for a long time, so it's great to have him here. 
Thank you. With all that you're having to get acclimated with here, what is slowing down the most for you right now so far? Um, I think at first, you, when you call plays, you're just generally trying to picture the whole play and concept. And now, uh, after the first few days of practice, it's all coming together and knowing my reads, knowing exactly uh, the timing of everything, and, and knowing how Coach McAdoo wants it done. And that's that's really the biggest thing for me is uh, I'm not just hearing plays and be like, okay, take care of the ball, go through this read. I'm hearing the play and I'm understanding why Coach McAdoo is calling it and what he wants to get get accomplished. You mentioned getting to know some of your guys down here, getting to know the team. Any characters stick out to you? Learn about anybody in particular? Tommy Tremble. He's, uh, he's, he's unique. I think that was the one thing I was forewarned about. And uh, he hasn't disappointed yet. He's great. No, I'm, I'm not giving up specifics. No, he's just, he's, uh, he's animated. He, he's a good guy. When you look back at film and you're assessing your plays through training camp so far, what are the things that, that you're liking about this? Um, you know, besides the one turnover last week, um, taking care of the ball for the most part, you know, on that play I had the wrong drop. Uh, and that's just, that's simple things that I can fix. And I know that's very fixable. So doing that and then, uh, I don't know, just grasping everything. Uh, pretty quick. Uh, I'm happy with that, but there's so much room to grow. So, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm satisfied with any of it so far. There's just so much room to go and uh, ready for it. Jake, you're kind of back along the lines of getting acclimated to the team. Austin Corbett, y'all were together in Cleveland whenever you got on here. He was excited on Instagram. He was getting reunited. What's it been like being with him, you know, even off the field? And yeah. The no, it's, it's great to have Corby here. Um, obviously, coming into the league, you, you know, we're wide-eyed and, and not really knowing how to handle things. He, he's been great, obviously. Uh, he went out to LA and, and got himself a ring. So he, uh, I think, you know, through the ups and downs of him getting traded and, and then having some success there in LA and, and being around some great veterans and learning. And I had the same thing, just being around different guys. There's a lot of learning opportunities. So being able to <clears throat> come back together and talk about the experiences and, um, you know, that's, when it comes down to that, he knows exactly what my motives are, what I want to do, and it's all about football and winning. And that's great to have that similarity to where he can communicate that to where if anybody has any questions, since I'm the new guy here, he can kind of be another messenger for me. Uh, and just they were all on the same page trying to win games. Baker, along those lines, how would you describe what the reception has been for you here, both from fans and uh, yeah. uh Unbelievable. You know, from teammates and, and everybody, it's been completely awesome. I mean, it's just I zero complaints players, staff, everybody's been so welcoming, uh, made this transition extremely easy with how last minute it was. And when it comes to, you know, the, the Carolinas, they've, they've been great to Emily and I, and that's been so welcoming because uh, it's, it's uh, there's no manual on how to, to make this transition easier, but um, everybody's made it as easy as possible for us. And we're truly, truly appreciative of that. You don't pick out the weak links. You go straight for the head. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, he needs work. He needs work. Now, DJAC just continues to talk, so I don't know if it's just trash talk or if he's just talking every single day. But, no, those guys are so much fun to, to be with. When you, have a, when you have a defense like that that has so many leaders and, and competitors, um, that elevates everybody around you. So you got to match that competition level. You got to match that intensity. And that's, you can bring the best out in each other. Now, you got to be smart while you do it. You got to still do your job first and foremost, but you can have fun while doing it. That's what this game's all about. Steve, Baker, um, on you. Uh, now that you've had a chance to you know, get into Ben's playbook, is it, is it, how would you compare that to what you had in Cleveland? Is it more intense? Is it, is it different? Or is it just. You know, yeah. I mean, the, I had a few offenses there in Cleveland. Now, this one is. Um, really clear and concise on what we want to get accomplished. Um, you know, there's a, a extreme you know, base foundation of what we're starting with, but then there's also similar answers to where how we want to attack teams. You know, if we have one play called, everybody's going to know what we're going to get to based on a certain coverage or front or blitz and, and those things. So um, I love it the way Coach McAdoo installs it. He does it all himself. He's the one giving every single pointer. Um, if there's any questions, all the coaches are also reiterating what he's saying. And, and this offense is uh, one of those that Everybody's going to be on the same page. And when you can do that and you have all 11 on the same page, great things happen. And uh, I'm thankful to, to have that after, you know, bouncing around a little bit in different offenses. And to, to have this one, it's, it's a good one for me. Appreciate it, guys.